So where is this place? Well, down here on the east side of the map, over by the castle, is a road that's kind of shaped like Kentucky. It's uh, southeast of Mass Bay and Hester's. We're going to drop a custom pin right here. Uh, over here on the east po point right here, that's where the castle is. But all you have to do is get close, because once you get close enough, the, the quest will trigger. And you're going to see that within one map tile, it's going to update, and you're going to know exactly where to go. So let's get rid of this custom marker. We don't need it anymore. If you've never been here, there's actually a good number of enemies in the area that are not going to appreciate your presence. So be prepared to sneak or fight your way to the interior. Once you get inside, you're going to see it's a little bit dark. And a lot of the doors are locked. In fact, almost all of them. But that means that no one else has gotten in here, which means there's probably some pretty good stuff. Now, if you are playing this on PS4, like I am, you're going to see that these quests actually work for you. I'm pretty sure this is one of the first mods to ever implement working quests on PS4. The quests have multiple stages, they reward XP, and they have markers. They are fully functional. So that's pretty refreshing. Now, you're going to actually get a pistol that is legendary chambered in 45 right off the bat so that, that's pretty nice once you get that garage door open as you walk in here you're gonna see the workshop on your left this is the automated scrapping plant which if you throw any any junk in here except for a few things it's gonna break it down automatically at the press of a button actually you don't even have to press a button it just works uh, insert Todd Howard joke here. Anyway, on the left over here is the start point, and behind me, the caged area in the center is where everything ends up. Once you get down into the basement, this flashing light will lead you over to the terminal that will give you some information about uh, the three different games, the fusion core, refurbisher, and the prize terminals. So we're going to head over and check out some of these games first of which is Plinko. Now, if you've never seen The Price is Right, which I doubt, or played Peggle, you know exactly how this machine works. But I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, it costs five bottle caps to, to purchase a ball, and each time it drops, it's going to give you a chance to win some tokens. Now, my luck is pretty bad, so I haven't gotten anything yet. Uh, but right here, okay, now we've got a token worth five credits, a Nuka token. Now, these, uh, these actually are in the junk category, and they have little custom textures on each one. There's three types. Um, I'll give you a little bit more info on how these work and what to do with them. But first, let's go over to Pocket Pitch. This one costs ten caps and the the worth of the targets is right there pick it up with activate and hold your reload button to wind up and throw it and over here is token of luck now if you've been to a carnival or an amusement park you've probably seen this machine uh it takes all of the the different types of tokens and it rewards all of the different types of tokens you want to try and get your token to drop at the back so when it retracts the tray it will push tokens out and you can re retrieve them below and once you've got a decent amount of tokens you can take them on over to the uh, prize machines there are three different ones all containing different prizes and if you've looked in the terminals and wondered to yourself about the instructions of why you have to do what you have to do for the prize machines, if you open build menu, you're going to see, well, it makes more sense when you realize that the prize machines are actually contraptions builders. So you're going to want to treat them like that, too. So let's hop into the terminal. And you're going to see a little bit of information you can gain from the welcome mes message. And below that, you can look at all the descriptions for all the different prizes so you can see what's actually in the machine. This one has a ton of Nuka Colas that you can redeem. Below that, the make selection, that's going to be your basically your build menu. And so let's make a Jack and Nuka. So we need 25 currency of Nuka tokens. So we're going to use one 
token worth 25 or 25 singles, whatever you want. I like to store my tokens in the machine, which is another good reason to shut it off when you're done, so you don't print a bunch of them. Uh, if you crouch down, again, just like build mode, you can see the actual contraptions builder. Now, the Nuka Jack is going to drop down and shut off the power. And following, I'm going to show you all the different Nukas you can get out of here that'll raise and lower your special stats, heal you, give you rads, AP, affect your vision. There's a whole lot of different things that they do. Um, the Nuka Jade right there, that's actually from another mod Elric has made, which is called Wild Plants. It boosts your experience gained, and you can build it in his other mod. It's, it's a carryover into this mod. But these are all pretty interesting and look pretty neat, so I'll let you try them out yourself and not spoil too much. Over here, I've put up the Grognak armors that you can... Uh, redeem and they all have different resistances, different textures, and here are the matching axes. Now you can also redeem the vanilla Grognak axe and costume, but you've seen those so I'm not going to show them. They all do the same amount of damage, but they all match the armors, which is pretty nice. Now also in the Grognak kiosk you're going to find there are five packs of different settlement buildables that you can redeem and I'm gonna go ahead and show these off and I'm gonna drop a few more details about the mod while this is running and I really wanted to show a whole lot more in this in this video but it's already gotten to 10 minutes and I just want to let you know that there is more than what I'm actually able to show in this mod there are more prizes there is exploration the settlement is enormous and it is fully functional. You can have provisioners, settlers, it gets attacked. It is 100% uh, an entirely functional settlement. And it is very compatible with other mods. The exterior only adds the load doors and the sign on the roof of that vanilla building. So uh, make sure to ask any questions you need to to either myself or the mod creators. And make sure to explore the rest of the mod because there's a whole lot more. Next up, we have the Fusion Core Refurbisher. Dead Fusion Core plus 10 tokens equals a full Fusion Core. So let's check it out. I've got a completely empty Fusion Core, which is pretty worthless. And I'm going to stick two tokens worth five currency apiece into it so that we can try this out. All right, so let's go over here and flip on the power. And now we are going to recharge our fusion core. Uh, if you've ever been annoyed by how quickly these fusion cores drain in power armor or you really like to use a Gatling laser, you're gonna really like this. Our fusion core is a hundred percent now. Now lastly we have a laboratory which will let us put platings on our power armor. This is similar to the Cambridge Polymer Labs, but it's expanded to use all of the power armors, and it also adds a new plating. Not only can you put the piezonucleic uh, plating on your power armor, you can also add a new one, which is called nucleostrictive. The nucleostrictive is a plating that will reduce your fusion core drain by 10%. So you can put it on all six pieces and reduce your power armor drain by 60%, or you can mix and match them with the vanilla piezonucleic if you want to increase your uh, action point refresh in regard to your radiation exposure. I'm going to make the nucleostrictive with a T45 left arm piece. If you need power armor pieces, all of the vanilla pieces can be found in the kiosk downstairs. This mod is the result of a ton of work by an entire group of modders, and it took a long time for them to put this together. I tried to briefly show you as many of the best new features and content that I could, but like I said, without making this video extremely long, there's no way to exhaustively cover everything that's in this mod. There's a lot I really wanted to show. But if you download it yourself, I'm sure you will find a whole lot of things that you find interesting that I didn't cover. And if you're not already using some of the, the other mods that these guys have created, you should do yourself a favor and check them out because they're just as high quality as this one. And please remember to uh, 
rate the mod after you download it to let the mod authors know that you uh, appreciate all their hard work. Thanks for watching.